Hello friends, welcome to Freshers Life. Today is 25th March. Here I will discuss all the important questions that may be asked from today's current affairs and important facts related with each question. So watch the video very carefully and try to answer the questions asked at the end of the video. You can download the PDF of the video from the link provided in the description. You can also download the PDF from our website as well as telegram groups. Before moving forward, let's check the answer for the question asked in the last video. Pramod Sawant is the dash the chief minister of Goa. The correct answer is option A. 13. Now, let's begin our session for today. Here comes our question number 1. Who among the following are among the 100 most influential people in climate policy list? The correct answer is Option A. Piyush Goyal The 100 most influential people in climate policy list is comprised of 7 Indian names who took important measures to combat climate change. The list is prepared by a political peer-to-peer -peer learning platform for governments. The list has been topped by Alexandria Ocasia Cortez. The seven names from India are Piyush Goyal, the Ministry of Railways and Coal, Dr. Harsh Vardhan, Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Mukta Tilak, Mayor of Pune, Jyoti Kirit, Parikh, Executive Director of Integrated Research and Action for Development, Sunita Narain, Director of the Center for Science and the Environment, Vandana Shiva, Founder of the Research Foundation of Science, Technology and Natural Resource Policy, Upendra Tripathi, Director General of the International Solar Alliance. Heading to our question number 2. Who is the author of the book Every Oat Counts which was launched by Sri Amit Anzari? The correct answer is Option B. Navin Chawla Former Chief Election Commissioner of India, Navin Chawla's book Every Vote Counts was launched by former Vice President of India, Hamid Ansari in New Delhi. This book is about how the electoral machinery works in India. The book explains about the India is on the cusp of change and with its parliamentary elections coming up. The book has been published by Harper Collins India. Now, let me share few more informations about Navin Chawla. Navin Chawla is a well-known and recognized Indian bureaucrat from 1969 to 2005. He is an occupant of one of India's most prestigious constitutional offices as election commissioner. He is an IAS officer of batch 1969. He was appointed as election commissioner in 2005 to fill the vacancy caused by the elevation of B.B. Tandon as Chief Election Commissioner. He served as Election Commissioner from 16th May 2005 to 20th April 2009 and took over as Chief Election Commissioner on 21st April 2009 up to 30th July 2010. Moving to our question number 3. When is the World Tuberculosis Day celebrated? The correct answer is Option B. March 24. The World Tuberculosis Day is observed on 24th March each year. World TB Day is marked by the World Health Organization. It is designed to build public awareness about the global epidemic of tuberculosis and efforts to eliminate the disease. The theme of World TB Day 2019 is its time. The date marks the day in 1882 when Dr. Robert Koch announced that he had discovered the bacterium that causes TB mycobacterium tuberculosis. His discovery opened the way towards diagnosis and curing this disease. Now let me share few points about the World Health Organization. It was formed in the year 1948. It is headquartered at Geneva, Switzerland. The Director General is Tedros Adhanom. The parent organization is UN Economic and Social Council. Heading to our question number 
फोर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्री हेल्ड द फर्स्ट इलेक्शन आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स ऑफ मिलिट्री रूल द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी थाईलैंड थाईलैंड हेल्ड इट्स फर्स्ट जनरल इलेक्शन आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स ऑफ मिलिट्री रूल द मिलिट्री आउट स्टेट एंड इलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट इन द कॉप इन टू अबाउट 51.4 million people voted in the election. It will appoint 500 members to the House of Representatives, the lower house of the parliament. Voter in Thailand has voted to choose their next government 24th March 2019 after 5 years of living under military rule. The March 24 vote comes after the ruling junta repeatedly postponed it general election after it overthrew an elected government. in 2014 now let me share few points about thailand the monarch is maha vajralanka the prime minister is prayut chan ocha the capital is bangkok the currency is baht the official language is thai heading to our question number 5 who is appointed as the next chief of indian navy the correct answer is Option A Karambir Singh The government of India appointed Vice Admiral Karambir Singh as the next chief minister of the naval staff with effect from May 31 2019 He is presently the flag officer commander in chief Eastern Naval Command The present chief of naval staff admiral Sunil Lanba retires on the same day. Vice Admiral Karambir Singh was commissioned on July 1, 1980 under the executive branch of the Indian Navy. He is a graduate of the Defence Services Staff College, Wellington. Now let me share few points about our Indian Navy. It was founded in the year 1612. It is a part of Indian Armed Forces. The supreme commander is President of India. Chief of the Naval Staff is Admiral Sunil Lanba. Vice Chief of the Naval Staff is Vice Admiral G Ashok Kumar. The objective of the Navy is to safeguard the nation's maritime borders. Moving to our question number 6. Indonesia's first mass rapid transit system to ease the traffic congestion was inaugurated in Dash. The correct answer is Option C Jakarta. Indonesian President Joko Widodo inaugurated the country's first mass rapid transit system on 24th March. The aim is to ease the traffic congestion in the capital Jakarta. He also presided over a groundbreaking ceremony to mark the beginning of the second phase which is planned for completion by 2024. Passengers can ride for free until the end of the month. Jakarta is one of the top 3 traffic congested cities in the world. According to a traffic index developed by the navigation systems company TomTom. Tom. Now let me share few more points about Indonesia. The president is Joko Widodo. The vice president is Yusuf Kalla. The capital is Jakarta. The currency is Indonesian rupiah. The official language is Indonesian. Heading to our question number 7. Which country clinched SAFF Women's Championship for the fifth time. The correct answer is Option D India. India lifted South Asian Football Federation SAFF Women's Championship fifth time in a row. India defeated host Nepal in the final by 3-4-1 in Biratnagar, Nepal. India's Dalmia Chipper scored first goal of the match in 26th minute. India's Indumati Kadirisen and Sabitra Tamang of Nepal remained top scorer of the tournament. Both scored four goals each. Now let me share few points about South Asian Football Federation. Motto 
is strength in unity it was formed in the year 1997 it is headquartered at new delhi india the membership are seven member association the regions are india bangladesh bhutan sri lanka nepal maldives and pakistan saff is a sports organization in south asia it is a part of the larger asian football confederation heading to our question number a which country launched world's first wireless e cap charging stations the correct answer is option a norway Norway's capital Oslo will become the world's first city to install wireless induction based fast charging systems for electric taxis. The charging plates will be installed in the ground where taxis are parked which will connect with receivers in taxis and allow them to charge for up to 75 kilowatts. Finland's Fortum is working on the project with America's Momentum Dynamic. The project aims to install wireless charging using induction technology. Charging plates are installed in the ground where the taxi is parked and a receiver is installed in the taxi. This allows for charging up to 75 kilowatts. Now let me share few points about Norway. The monarch is Harald V. The prime minister is Erna Solberg. The capital is Oslo. The currency is Norwegian Kron. The official language is Norwegian Sami. Heading to our question number 9. For which country did Vega rocket launched earth watching Prisma satellite? The correct answer is option A, Italy. An European Vega rocket carried a new Earth observation satellite into orbit for the Italian space agency, lighting up the nighttime sky over its French Guinean launch site. The Prisma Earth observation satellite lifted off from the South America's Guiana Space Center in Kauro, French Guiana. The satellite will operate in sun synchronous orbit, meaning that it circles the Earth in such a way that the sun is always in the same position as the satellite takes picture of the planet below. Prisma, hyperspectral precursor of the application mission, is designed to provide information about environmental monitoring, resources management, pollution, and crop health. Moving to our question number 10. When is the Matras Day or Shahid Divas observed in India? The correct answer is Option B, March 23. On March 23rd, India observed Shahid Divas or Matras Day as a tribute to the Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev and Raj Guru on their death anniversary. The supreme sacrifice of these revolutionaries continues to inspire generations in India. Bhagat Singh with his associate Batukeshwar Dutt had bombed the Delhi Central Assembly against the passing of two repressive bills, the Public Safety Bill and the Trade Dispute Bill. Bhagat Singh along with his associates Sukhdev Tapar and Shivram Rajguru were hanged to death for the killing 21-year-old British police officer John Saunders on March 23, 1931. January 30, which marks the death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, is also observed as the Matras Day to honour our brave martyrs who have sacrificed their lives for the country. To conclude this session, here comes the question of the day. Who topped the 100 most influential people in climate policy list? Try to answer the question and drop your answer in the comment box. Okay friends, that's for today. Thanks for watching our video. If you find the information provided in our video useful, please do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Follow us regularly to stay updated on current affairs. Dear friends, are you looking for a job? End your search now. Visit freshoflife.com, the next generation of placement network. Register yourself today and get placed in top companies. Until then, this is Freshers Life signing out from current affairs video. Take care.